Now, first alert weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Messner. Well, hey there, Tom. A pretty nice day today. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. We had some sunshine, more clouds by the afternoon and a couple of rain showers. But these temperatures, I mean, for this time of year, this is not too shabby and enjoy it while it's here. We've got one more warm day and then kind of the bottom falling out. I mean, not that it gets super cold. Actually, it's going to be seasonable. It's just going to feel cold. We did see 81 in Burlington today. 85 Lebanon, 85 Keene, well into the 80s down in Bennington as well. Here's what's going on right now. We've got a lot of 60s on the weather map. Eastern Vermont pretty much everywhere. 67 degrees in Burlington. And as has been the case all day long, it's been cooler in northern New York. Messina right now is uh, only in the 50s and I want to show you something here. We've been talking about this weather front that's been sitting around over near the St. Lawrence River Valley on the other side, meaning off to the west. It's quite a bit colder. Well, you can follow this front all the way down to Texas and then it kind of curves here. But the bottom line is we are looking at some really cold air out toward, say, the Rocky Mountains. As a matter of fact, I want to take you to Colorado. Check this out. Denver getting snow. Of course, the mountains getting snow. It's cold out that way. Denver looking for some four to five inches of snow out there tonight. Meanwhile, a couple of rain showers suddenly doesn't seem too bad. We've got a little bit right around the Tri Lakes coming through uh, Saranac Lake, Lake Placid. We've got some rain over toward uh, the St. Lawrence River Valley itself and not too far from Governor right now. We'll keep an eye on that. We'll keep the chance for showers in the forecast and I think we may find a couple of pop up storms during the day tomorrow but certainly most of what we see will be just a couple of raindrops. So here's the deal for tomorrow. Partly sunny skies. We're talking a high about 80 right in the Champlain Valley. But again, in northern New York, I think it's going to be a little bit cooler than that. Let's step through it, show you what to expect in terms of cloud coverage with Futurecast. One o'clock in the morning, a couple of showers here and there. And then we get you into tomorrow. Bottom line for tomorrow, the farther south you are, the more sunshine you find. But we are even looking at a partly sunny sky to the north with a couple of isolated showers and maybe a rumble of thunder or two. And then on Thursday, I think we find more clouds than sunshine. That front sinks on through. We find a few rain showers here and there on Thursday. And by the time we get you into Friday, we end up with a lot of sunshine, but it's going to be cooler around here. First alert weather for tonight, partly cloudy, few isolated showers. We're seeing that on Storm Tracker right now. Figure a low of 57 Plattsburgh, 61 Burlington, Montpelier about 59. And then for tomorrow, it's going to be partly sunny. Again, some isolated showers. Best bet for that, northern New York. Note Messina's high 66, yet in Plattsburgh 74, E-Town 80. Keep going off to the west, and we're looking at highs in the 80s, like, say, Morrisville, 83, 80 in Burlington, maybe a couple of isolated showers, otherwise partly sunny. And then I think we end up with a mostly sunny sky on down to the south after some clouds in the morning. Ludlow, 84 degrees, Stratton at 82. All right, five-day forecast. 80 is going to do it with the isolated showers tomorrow. So one more day with temperatures above normal. Then we go to 72 for a high on Thursday and a few showers around, but I think a little bit of sunshine too. And then Friday and also into Saturday, 68 back to 74. Saturday looks to be the drier of the two weekend days because Sunday does look kind of wet. And then next Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, while temperatures all those days pretty close to 70, they at this point all look dry.